Hi everyone, welcome to Indie Filmmaker's Journal. I'm Joyce Young. I'm Derek Ting. We're gonna give you an insider's look from our perspective, what it takes to make a movie from development all the way to post-production and to even the marketing phase when the movie comes out. We're gonna talk about some challenges, excitement, what it takes along the way, and to hopefully provide you with great tips that you can use as guideline, but adapt to your situation. All right, Joyce, I'm really excited to do this. So, so let's get started. Yeah. I think a lot of people are curious, what's the most important part about the script while you're developing it? I think the most important part is that main character who's going to drive uh, the script because in film it really is about a central character and their journey and their change. So, you know, once you're defining that, then it really becomes clear of what's essential to the movie and what will engage somebody. You can make very quick decisions about what stays and what goes mm -hmm. and like how to improve it. Most characters will start out very two-dimensional and then that's you have to keep on building those moments. Mm -hmm. For your process, do you kind of just pen to paper, write the whole thing first and then come back to edit? Because I think some people will edit along the way, uh, you know, act one first, act two, act three. So maybe talk a little bit about that. I mean, the outline is very broad in the beginning and you know when you feel comfortable enough to, to write, that's when I start writing the script and certain characters pop up. Sometimes the characters are just, they start out as like person number one. And then suddenly this person number one keeps showing up mm. and then you got to give that person a name. And then suddenly they're on your roster of the outline and what happens to them. And then, so you're going back to the outline. Sometimes I'll just put the rest of what's going on. So maybe the initial outline had certain characteristics and those were fine for that at that point in time. But then, you know, once like the first half has been done, then you're probably going to remap the last part just because you have so many more moving parts. Mm -hmm. Approximately, not how many times, I guess that's hard to quantify, but you know, each script, obviously, you have to keep going back. Uh, and this is, we talked about in-between process, but once you're done with one, do you let it sit for like a week or two and rewrite? Uh, what is the process of then making it better? Yeah, yeah, like um, life happens and um, it's about scheduling and, and there's different aspects that are producing because I wear very many hats. So it's always good to let things sit. There's always a good stopping point and going to brood. But then when you have the time to sit down, meanwhile, you've just kind of been thinking about stuff. But then when you're actually doing it, you know, you can do it. So, I mean, I could, I could potentially write day by day and mm -hmm. just be a writer and maybe still get blocked and have to do something else anyway. Uh, it just depends on the urgency of of something or a lot of times we're thinking about the strategy of what we're going to do with the movie. Mm -hmm. So rather than trying to just write something because it's Tuesday or Wednesday, write something because you figured out what the strategy of, of what the script is going to be about. Let me f flip it back on you because mm -hmm. you're usually my sounding board and you don't normally read it until draft, you know, I don't even know numbers sometimes. Right. And then, so what are you looking for? as kind of like an objective person mm. uh, and when you read it and how do you make that decision to you know to see whether it has potential right uh yeah i mean i think we do it on purpose i mean we obviously produce together but i do it on purpose in terms of you know i don't read in between your drafts uh mm. or before you finish one complete draft right because you know you're in progress of thinking about it i don't want to interject too much and just kind of leave you to your creative process so uh, that's one reason why i wait but when when you do have it i feel it's fun you know when you're like okay i'm ready for you to read it i'm like okay i feel good now he's you know got most of it and i i feel like uh feel good but also feel the responsibility of okay now what do i you know what what am i gonna uncover <laughs> i'm not looking for like very detailed grammatic. I mean, it's really very broad as an audience, right? I, mm -hmm. When I read it, do I feel for the characters? Do I uh, find the storyline interesting? Uh, do I feel like there's enough arc and twist? Uh, I always like something that's kind of like, at least there's a club of surprise, right? So whether it's, you know, we've done financial thriller, romantic drama, but there's always a kind of a suspense through line. And also, of course, reading it through itself, right? If, if it's a very fast read, uh, goes through, I want to read it, next page, you know, that's a good indication. And I think that's for anyone writing anything, whether it's a book or a script or a short story. And then I think the second time, like, you know, I'll address those, but then maybe the second time reading it, uh, then the producer hat goes on um, and kind of thinking, okay, you know, visually, a producing hat and, and because I'm a photographer, there's a certain visual aspect I can kind of imagine as well. Um, so I think those those are the things I start to 
um, piece together in my head uh, mm. in terms of oh okay I can see this scene going this way visually. I mean certainly you're very you're very perceptive quickly and if there's science then you you understand science not everyone does mm -hmm. so that speaks to our audience as well it's not for somebody who doesn't want to know anything about math or and you're well traveled and stuff you're the barrier I have to get past for that. <laughs> well, now that we're just launched Agent Recon, the third in the Agent Saga series. Uh, I know you're thinking of the next um, step in the next film already. Um, are you already writing the script? Maybe tell us a bit about the process there. Yeah, I mean, you know, we had a lot of time before the release. So opportunity to think about like what we can do next. And um, I think I do have like producery kind of questions before I try to finish the script. It may be like looking at locations, like where we could film, mm -hmm. maybe talking about like what cast, who's gonna play what, before I really then further develop some of the characters. The action is actually also hard to write if you don't know the characters really well and, and that's what I wanna uh, write. So definitely letting it sit, but then we'll, we'll start it up again and, and finish it out after I've had conversations. So overall with the script, you started with an idea. This needs to change, this needs to be better after your initial plan and you revise. Finally, to finish it out, if you're at our stage, I think then it's, it's time to talk to a producer, maybe like ourselves too, you know, to say, hey, what do you think I should do going forward? How do I end this? Who do you think maybe should be in it? What do you think about these characters? Is this compelling? All those things, ask those questions midway before really trying to go through the whole thing and then you've done it all and then you're like, oh, and then you're like attached to some of the stuff. For me, I think that's much more efficient, but at the end of the day, you're always taking and, and creating and revising based on feedback mm -hmm. too. I think that's Right. Pretty important. I guess there's a tricky part there too, right? Like how much of the feedback to take and how many people are going to ask, right? So I yeah. guess also be selective, right? Like have yeah. a few people you, you trust uh, in terms of their ideas and opinion. Well, some quick tips, I guess, uh, for those who are just starting out or having kind of a block. I think certainly the idea is the most important thing. Go to the idea and really make it like invulnerable to not wanting to do it. Like if you get excited about the idea, then a lot of the other things will fall into place. Go for the tried and true first if you're getting stuck. If you want to go three acts and, you know, follow, follow a lot of these standard methods, do it. Write it that way. And then you can manipulate and change and evolve it. You could even write another character story and then you know it and then and then you're thinking about, oh, how is that impacting that main character? Sounds good. Or just go outside for a walk. That always works. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's good to talk it out. Yeah. That's what we're doing right now is we're just talking it out like the method. And I think That's true. when you talk it out, then sometimes you answer your own question anyway. So mm. it's always good to talk it out. Cool. Okay, well, Sounds thanks good. everybody. That's that episode, right? Yeah. Thank All you. right, we did it. Thanks for watching Indie Filmmakers Journal. We're excited. Episode one. Yay. Catch us on the next one.